fantastic All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've been waiting for. All right, on the phone. Are you recording it? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my name's Robert Souter, I'm the chairman of the Friends of Spring Parkwood and I started up with local residents this group back in 2003, March to be exact, and the sole aim is to preserve the ancient woodland techniques that are being lost in the countryside. It's a hard task, it's not uphill struggle, but the main aim is to keep this woodland alive and uh, keep it what's known as biodiversity, keeping the life in this wood here for future generations to enjoy. Not that long ago, in 1930s, we've got developments happening in this area and slowly but surely the woodland's been eaten away. That area in green is that area there. What used to be trees are now your houses and back gardens. We've got the rare species, we've got four rare species in this patch of woodland, which I'm pleased to say are the obviously the native bluebell. You've got two species of bats. There. You've got uh, the small little common pipistrels and you've got the larger nocturnal bats. You also have in here, passing through and possibly uh, nesting here, the uh, sparrow hawk. Now, sparrow hawk is very important because it's one of the hierarchy food, food chain. If you've got that species in this area, you know that the food chain below it is healthy. Some of these seeds, say with the, um, the native bluebell seeds, they can stay dormant up to 50 years without germination. But as soon as we took away that darkness and allowed the light in, a wolf are coming through. So number 45 and number 46, the back box. If you took um, an extreme scenario situation with every one pregnant female bat, she will eat something like about 3,000 insects in one night. So whilst we're doing all this free voluntary work, we don't get paid. I'm not getting paid now. I'm doing this because as you hear, I've got passion for looking after this work. Sycamore. Now, sycamores are well known, but if they are controlled, they are a good tree. But what a lot of what people have lost the knowledge of is the fact that when you get nice old sycamore, it's got such um, it's got properties inside it which keeps it clean, so that you can make uh, kitchen furniture and kitchen working surfaces out of. Because it's got sort of a disinfectant in its own right. If you want a chopping board, something like that, and you get some a cup of bread or meat, whatever like that, you can actually make kitchen utensils out of sycamore. They're never too old to cut this, are they? No. no. If, if people have a little bit of space in their garden, if there's one tree that I would recommend everyone to have, is to have at least one hazel. I'm not biased, it's just a fact that it's quick growing and it's a healthy tree. And if you just imagine these houses around here having one hazel each, there's a hundred hazels cleaning your atmosphere. That branch came down and crashed in there some many years ago. It's naturally torn itself there, which is great because in there you could have potentially yet again batch roosting. How do you find that? Interesting! <laughs> it's just nice to know it's just local and it's on your doorstep. I mean, I go down here so many times to visit friends and work and whatever. Would never have known it was here.
I think it was a really nice walk and it was kind of long but still it was like worth it because I learned something. It was good fun, it was uh, nice to get out in the fresh air and um, on this lovely day.